The creationist movement actually is a threat to freedom of religion. Um, they are using the religious right mantra that teaching intelligent design in a public school guarantees government neutrality. They regard evolution as having atheistic implications and anything that has religious implications should be balanced with teaching something that has contrary religious impl implications. So if you are teaching evolution in a public school, which in the minds of the intelligent design movement has atheistic impl implications, which it really doesn't, then it should be balanced with the intelligent design view, which has positive implications for religious belief. But what that does is really to destroy government neutrality. Evolution is religiously neutral. One can either accept religion or reject it and still accept what science shows about evolution. So there's no viol violation of government neutrality in teaching evolution. That would make science unconstitutional. But to inject intelligent design into the science curriculum really curtails the religious freedom of teachers who would be required to teach this. It curtails the religious freedom of students who would have to be unwilling pawns um, in this movement's plans to take over the public schools. So it really would curtail, especially children who, we have a multicultural society and the public schools reflect that. We have Buddhist children, Jewish children, Islamic children, this is by and large a Christian movement. The intelligent design is almost exclusively populated with, with Christians. So you would be curtailing the religious freedom of about 95% of the people in the public schools. So religious freedom would be directly threatened.